Hi guys, welcome to this week's unboxing. So this is a model that I didn't think I'd be buying myself and it is a uh, 1400 scale Gemini Jets model. It was released in 2016 and it's an airline that I last flew on but I haven't flew on this type although kind of want to and it's an aircraft I've flown on but of course not for this airline. This is in fact the American Airlines 767-300 by Gemini Jet, the 2016 release of November 393 Alpha November. The usual Gemini Jet's markings on the outside of the box, pristine box which I'm glad about, 767 down at the bottom, uh, Facebook and it's a 2016 release that you can see as well. Without further ado, let's open up and see what we have. So the last model I also brought was my first 767. This is my second one. Happens to be that I brought 767 models consecutively. However, I think my next model I would like to buy would be of an em Emirates A380, which would be uh, very nice to my collection. The usual packaging 767 1400 and there's the American plane inside as you can see let's open this up Ooh, and this is rather nice very slippery model So this is the American 767-300 model. I'm just going to put my plastic in the box and put the box out the back. So as you can see, you're working from the nose. You've got really nice landing gear for the aircraft. You've got your entry door and the One World logo. Then you've got the new American colours, uh, which I think are pretty much very close to the actual jet. Working back you've got the winglet just there, uh, you've got the registration down at the bottom which is November 393 Alpha November like it says on the box and you've got the tail markings. You've got two over wing exits with guide ramps as well. Having a look at the other side of the model you have of course the cargo bays and as well on this you can see the windows of the aircraft there and you can see the landing lights at either side and the green and uh, red beacons. Uh, the engines which I think are also General Electric. Yep they're General Electric CF680C2B6 engines. They of course are General Electric. And this was uh, first flow 98 April and its delivery was the 18th of May 1998 which of course was the year I was born in. Uh, not actually that much earlier than what I was born. Underneath the model we have just the uh, Gemini Jets logo and removable landing gear. You can't see the gear wells that well, but they are a suitable standard. Of course, you don't normally get to see the bottom of the aircraft, so it's not one thing that I do take into account much. But because I thought this would be a very special unboxing, I thought I'd bring along two models to go with it. One of them is, of course, the sister, which is my American Airlines. Sorry which is my American Airlines 757 which seems to have a slightly off colour to the jet but it's pretty much exactly the same the colours seem to be pretty much the same although the lettering on the 767 seems to be a lot more spaced out than on the 757 uh, although both aircraft do complement each other very very well which I quite like 
The engine detail on the 757 is slightly better on, than on the 767, although I think that's just the 767 production series, and the engines seem to fit on slightly better. Because as well, I only recently brought a 767, I thought this video as well couldn't do without my other 767 which of course is the Delta Airlines 767 oh, we're on a bit of a wingtip collision and you can see that the models in the two different paint schemes look very very different however they both look very very nice between each other and I'm quite happy with the purchases of both aircraft 767 is an, air, is an aircraft I'm not particularly fond to fly on uh, I just don't generally like wide body aircraft, I prefer narrow bodies, especially on transatlantic flights, <laughs> which is unusual, to say the least. And although I think the 767 is a nice aircraft to fly, uh, although my favourite transatlantic flight for a wide body has been the A330 when I flew with Aer Lingus last. Uh, so if you haven't seen the Delta unboxing, you may want to click on the Delta 767 and because I'm feeling like it as well I'm going to put the 757 there and you want to click on the nose of the 767 for Delta if you haven't seen that video and you want to click on the nose of the 757 if you haven't seen that video as well I hope you've enjoyed this week if you this video if you have please leave a like down below subscribe to my channel for more unboxings and for my model airport information I'm going to leave that down below as well like I always do I uh, hope you've enjoyed this week's video and I'll uh, put some information on wings 900 leave some photos of this and I hope you enjoy thanks for watching see you soon